Attachment styles, a reason why you might fail at relationships. What are attachment styles? Have you ever pondered on the implications of how we form bonds in our infancy and how those forms of attachment manifest into our adult lives? This is what we refer to as attachment styles, which are the emotional connections we form with other people depending on how we create bonds as an infant, most often with our mothers. What are attachment styles and attachment theory? Attachment styles are based on John Bowlby's attachment theory. From birth, we are highly vulnerable beings, and if we were left unprotected in nature, we would die in a matter of hours. The most evolutionarily advantageous action we could take is to attach ourselves to an individual or pair of individuals who can care, protect, and provide for us otherwise known as our parents. According to attachment theory, not only is attachment crucial for survival, but it is also central to our social and emotional development. It is also important to stress that the way the caregiver responds to their child's attachment will significantly influence how their attachment style develops over time. John Bowlby outlines four primary types of attachment styles. Secure attachment styles. Secure attachments are formed through a loving and healthy bond between a parent and child during infancy. Anxious ambivalent attachment. These types of attachment typically signify a level of distrust between the child and their caregivers. Avoidant attachment. Children with avoidant attachment feel unloved and have learned that their emotional needs are more likely to be unmet. This typically arises when a parental figure is neglectful and barely present in their lives. They learn that the best way to cope with disappointment is to never put themselves in a place where they could become disappointed, thus leading to frequent avoidance. Disorganized attachment. This attachment style is a mix of anxious and avoidant attachment, and we typically see this manifest as anger and rage in children. Anger becomes the primary coping mechanism to help deal with distressing emotions, translating into emotionally laden situations such as intimacy. Have you ever wondered why you keep repeating specific patterns or outcomes within your romantic relationships? Well, this may be due to the attachment style you formed during childhood which remained with you as an adult. For more interesting psychology videos, visit psychvarsity.com.